Hello friends, welcome to Olive Pot. I hope you are all doing well and your exam preparations are going good too. In this video, we are going to discuss the 200 most important GK questions for the month of November. So we are covering the current affairs section for you and all important questions with respect to the current affairs, which is important for the banking and other government or insurance examinations. This is part seven of the series. If you've not watched the earlier parts by the end of this video on the end screen, you will find a playlist through which you can see all the other parts. This is very, very important for the upcoming exams like IBPS, SO, Canara Bank, PO examination and uh, SEBI grade B examination phase two. Also for the IBPS clerk mains, which will fall after the prelims examination. So do not miss these questions. Also, you can take up a free mock test provided by Olive Board by clicking on the link which is provided to you in the description box. So do take up a free mock test and analyze your performance to structure your exam preparations accordingly. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, Go ahead and subscribe now to not miss any videos. Olive Board has launched the IBPS Clerk Live Test, which is the final phase of. This is a free All India Live Test in which you can get All India standing very few hours left for the exam uh, to take up this exam. So do take up this examination and know what is your all India standing. We will also be providing you a video analysis of the paper by the top faculty at Olive Board. So to take this test also, you can click on the link which is provided to you in the description box. One of the following companies has made a Guinness world record for opening the maximum number of stores in one single day in India. So which is that company? The correct answer is option two, which is Xiaomi, which is an electronics major company from China that has opened a record retail record of 500 retail stores in the rural parts of India. And for this, they have got a Guinness world record by opening all the stores in one single day. Xiaomi plans to open around 5,000 MI stores by the end of the year 2019. The seventh international tourist mart will be organized in which of the following states? The correct answer is option three, which is Tripura. So the Ministry of Tourism, the government of India in association with the Tripura government will organize the international tourism mart at Agartala in Tripura. This is the seventh edition of the International Tourism Mart, which is annually organized in the northeastern region to showcase the tourism of that region. World Toilet Day is celebrated every year on the 19th of November. What was the theme for the year 2018? So from the following options, what is the correct answer? What was the theme of World Toilet Day? The correct answer is option four, which is when nature calls, we need a toilet. So this is what was the theme. And we know 19th November is celebrated every year as World Toilet Day. United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6, which is uh, which aims to ensure the availability and sustainable management of sanitation and water for all by the year 2030. So it is a goal that almost all the countries across the world has adopted to provide or uh, to ensure there's availability and sustainability in sanitation. The first naturopathy day was celebrated on which date by the Ayush ministry? The correct answer is option three, which is on 18th of November. So the Ayush ministry, which is the Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy celebrated the 
first naturopathy day on the 18th of november with the aim of promoting the drug less system of medicines to prevent diseases by altering the diet and lifestyle so basically they are moving towards providing better diet and lifestyle uh, services to people rather than going for medicines The government has set up the Animation Gaming and Visual Effects Institute in which of the following cities in India. The correct answer is option 1 which is the city of Mumbai where in the government will set up the Animation Gaming and Visual Effects Institute to encourage youth participation in the field of film and cinematography. It will be set up and run by the Indian Institute of Mass Communication. Which amongst the following companies has launched a new app called Neighborly for the Indian markets? The correct answer is option 5 which is Google and this has been specifically designed for the Indian market to give hyper local information on the neighborhoods. So this will be user generated content that is similar to Quora. and neighborly is attempting to be an information repository of google the online fashion retailer mintra has decided to integrate with which of the following companies the correct answer is option 5 which is jabong so they will completely integrate to jabong which would continue to operate as a separate brand altogether and flipkart had acquired the portal mintra in the year 2014 and mintra had acquired jabong in the year 2016 one of the following organizations will raise 4000 crores via masala bond so which is that corporation or authority that is going to raise this amount via masala bond The correct answer is option 3 which is NHAI that is National Highways Authority of India will raise 4000 rupees or 4000 crore rupees through sale of the masala bonds as part of its overall 62000 crore debt raising plan to fund construction of highways so most of the projects are based on the hybrid annuity model The book titled Radio Kashmir in Times of Peace and War is written by So from the following options the correct answer is option 2 which is Rajesh Bhatt Dr Jitendra Singh released this book titled Radio Kashmir in Times of Peace and War which is written by Dr Rajesh Bhatt This book highlights the significant role which is played by media in safeguarding the strategic interest of the government and the masses of the nation. Our Vice President Venkaiah Naidu has launched which university that focus on interwoven learning. So what is the name? the correct answer is option 2 which is kriya university that has been launched in new delhi and this university is backed by some of the best academicians in the world and the top industrialists in india it focuses on interwoven learning growth which is india's telescope to study a nova explosion is located at which of the following places The correct answer is option 3 which is Ladakh. Now growth is India's telescope at the Indian Astronomical Observatory that is located in Ladakh and it has made its first science observation which is a follow up study of a nova explosion. Novae are explosive events which in involves increase in brightness of a star. The International Film Festival of India began in Goa was which edition of this festival The correct answer is option 5 which is 49th edition and this International Film Festival was organized in Goa Shaji Karun directed 
Malayalam movie which is Olu will be the opening movie of the feature film section of Indian panorama while Israel is the focus country and Jharkhand is the focus state Recently which country has decided to rejoin the Commonwealth group so one amongst this country that had left uh, the commonwealth group is planning to rejoin it which is that country the correct answer is option 3 which is maldives as the cabinet of maldives has approved to rejoin the commonwealth 2 years after withdrawing from the 53 nation groupings they left the commonwealth during president abdullah yamin's administration in october 2016 over the corruption issues RBI has extended the deadline for capital conversion buffer banks will now have to maintain it till which period the correct answer is option 1 which is march 2020 so the capital risk average ratio of 9 percentage is what has to be maintained by the banks the one it is one percentage higher than the basel norms and rbi has extended this transition period for implementing the last tranche of the capital conservation buffer up to 31st of march 2020 nsc has announced the launch of web platform for retail investors to buy the government securities what is the name of the platform that is launched by nse the correct answer is option 2 which is nse go bid and it has been uh, launched in the mobile app as well as a web platform wherein the retail investors can go and buy the government securities so they can invest in the treasury bills and various other government bonds According to the World Malaria Report 2018, India registered what percentage decline in malaria cases for the year 2017? The correct answer is option 4 which is 24 percentage decrease in the year 2017 when compared to the year 2016. And India has turned out as the only country among the 11 highest burden countries to mark the progress, uh, pro progress in reducing its disease burden and this is according to the WHO's world malaria report 2018 malaria is caused by parasites india's first elephant hospital has opened in which state so from the following options which state has got india's first elephant hospital The correct answer is option 4 which is the state of Uttar Pradesh and it has been opened by the Agra Divisional Commissioner Anil Kumar in Mathura UP. This unique medical center will offer wireless digital x-ray, laser treatment and dental x-ray thermal imaging facilities for the elephants. According to Deepam reports in the last 4 years this investment worth what amount have taken place so Deepam is department of investment and public asset management the correct answer is option 2 which is 2.1 lakh crores now according to this uh, report which was released by Deepam a total of 3.63 lakh crores worth of dis Uh, this investment have taken place since the year to uh, 1991 out of which 2.1 lakh crore which is 58 percentage of the total amount has come only from the last 4 years hong kong open men's 2018 doubles title was won by which country so from the following options what is the correct answer it is option 2 which is indonesia so indonesia's marcus fernaldi gideon and kevin sanjaya sukhamulcho defeated japan's takeshi kamura and kigo sonoda to defend their hong kong open men's doubles title for the year 2018 and this is the second consecutive hong kong open title for the indonesians The Tamil Nadu government has announced a relief package for the victims of cyclone what so what is the name of cyclone 
against which a relief package for victims has been announced by the Tamil Nadu government? The correct answer is option 3 which is Cyclone Gaja. So the Chief Minister E.K. Palani Swami has announced a 1000 crore relief package for all the people who are affected by Cyclone Gaja that devastated 11 coastal and interior districts of the state and it has caused damage even on the Tamil Nadu coast. That's all we have for you in this video. I hope you liked the video. Do share it with your friends and if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and subscribe now to not miss any videos from us. Thank you.